Welcome, guys, to the Cooper Anderson Acting Masterclass. Thank you, yes. Buckle your seatbelts, kids. Buckle your seatbelts. Because I'm about to pour you a tall glass of this is how it is. First thing you're gonna wanna know, don't go to college. It is a waste of time. Number two, don't go to New York. Theater is lame and Broadway's dead. Real actors do TV and film, which means Hollywood is where it's at. Now let's talk headshots. Always, without fail, turn into a pose. Again, wow. and again, Ooh, and one more time. Oh, yeah. Yes, that is a dynamic headshot, and bam, you just got your first call back. So now you got your sides, foot's in the door. What do you do next? You gotta figure out, is it comedic or is it dramatic? Often it's hard to tell, right? So do what I do. Ask the director, is this scene comedic or dramatic? He will know you're an actor who's not afraid to ask the tough questions, right? Why are you writing this stuff? Okay, what's the key to a dramatic scene? Finding the emotion. Oh, no. Connecting with your scene partner. Oh, no, no and no. The key to a dramatic scene is pointing. When people are really emotional, they point their fingers a lot. That's not true at all. That's, that's terrible advice. Excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Blaine. Are you an internationally beloved spokesman for the internet's fastest growing credit score website? No. I didn't think so. So let's focus in, okay? I'm here for you. I don't normally do this, but because you're my brother's class and you guys are so nice, I'm gonna give you some level two stuff. <laughs> The secret to great acting, great acting, ignoring whatever the other actor is doing. Eye contact with a scene partner is incredibly distracting. I try to tune them out entirely. Sometimes I wear earplugs. That way I don't get distracted by what they're doing and I can focus on the awesome acting choices I've planned ahead of time. Like eating a roast beef sandwich, right? Other choices I can plan ahead of time. Screaming all my lines! Because I'm really intense. And the things I'm feeling are really intense because I'm an intense actor! Right? Yeah. Nicholas Cage, right? Oh. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. I don't want you to go cray cray, but I brought in sides, industry term, from a little show that I auditioned for last week called NCIS. What does that say? Oh, my Nana loves that show. Now in this scene, Agent Shuto has just discovered a dead body. Who knows what will unfold? Don't look at each other, action. Here's what we know. Sergeant Pembroke took a bullet at point blank range. What we don't know is why he's wearing a dress. There's rumor that Sergeant Pembroke was a transvestite. No, Blaine, say that line again, but this time point your finger. Look, uh, things are serious. A man in a dress is dead. I don't really feel like pointing, Coop. It just feels a little stupid. Well, when a choice feels wrong, it's actually a good sign. It means you're right I, on the see, edge. I don't man. know about that. I feel like when Why a don't choice feels wrong, it means that note, I don't man. feel I'm, like Coop, I'm you're, working you're my brother. Can't you just support me? I'm sorry, are you talking to me right now? Because I can't tell if you're talking to me if you don't point your finger. Right? That is lesson number one, guys. Right? You're so right. Scene. 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 Good work, buddy. We'll get him next time. Let's go. Woo! Let's move on to a little acting exercise that I like to call the emotion tornado.